Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you've all been enjoying the Halaganza that Lavinia Stamps have put on for you all. Four days of absolute fun with tutorials, prizes and inspiration using the fabulous new stamps. For today's card I'm using a mixture of the new and some of the old. To do the background we're going to be using acrylic sprays. So I'm going to use this lovely sun yellow, bright orange, claret and then we're going to use midnight blue. And that's just to create our lovely background. For stamping with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne, Fallen Leaves, Rainforest, Shady Lane, and Purple Delight. I'm also going to be using Elements Graphite just to blend around the edge of the card. I'm going to be using two hill masks to create our ground. So I'm going to use one for the bottom ground and then another one just to do our hills with. I'm going to be using some Posca pens. So I'm going to be using orange, violet, ivory and yellow. And that's just to create some interest at the bottom here with the flowers. I'm going to be using pen touch pens, a gold and a silver and that's just to create some sparkle coming from the bells and around our pumpkin. A stardust clear glitter pen just to add some sparkle on our pumpkin and a white uniball pen just to do some highlights on the trees and on our two little birds. Pam Pastels Titanium White and I'm going to be using that with the white orb stencil just to create some little orbs around the edge of the card. Bronzeal Watercolour Pencils just to help to build up our ground and do some shading on our ground and our beautiful pumpkin. For the stamps I'm going to be using the tree branch, the new bird collection but I'm only using the two small birds from set of four. Oak leaf flourish I'm just using the large one. I'm using the two bells from the set of three this little tree from the tree scene, lamps, I'm using these ones that look like mushrooms, mini castle, this beautiful pumpkin, orchard grass, lavender and this beautiful new winter spice stamp. I'm also going to be using the single fairy thistle but I'm just using the top half. And then this new flower collection. I'm just using two of them from the set of four. So let's get started. For today's card I'm using a piece of card that is seven inches by seven and I'm just going to give this a quick spritz with some water. And to start off with, we're going to use acrylic sprays. So I've got here some yellow. So I'm just going to shake this up and then just do this in the middle. There. Bright orange. So I'm just going to use this randomly just over my card. Claret. Another shake up. And I'm just going to use it where I didn't use the orange. We can always go back over, touching up areas. And my last one, Midnight Blue. 
So again, give this a shake. And we're just going to use this just on the edge of our card. And I think I'm going to go back and get a bit more of that lovely claret. So I'm just aiming for areas there. And now I'm just going to use some water on it just to help move that around our card. There we go. So I'm just moving my board around, just getting that moving around. There we go. And then I'm going to place the same size card over the top. And then with an old flannel, just moving all of that out. There we go. And give this a good rub. And let's see what background do we have there so we've got two beautiful backgrounds we need to give these both a good dry with the heat gun before we do any stamping so I'm just gonna dry these now So that's both backgrounds dried. So this is the piece we did all of our spraying on. And this is the piece that we placed over the top to get a print off. So we've got two backgrounds for one lot of spraying. And I'm going to use this background for today's project and put this away into my background box. To start off with, I'm going to use the tree branch and I'm going to use the Sophine Claire Fallen Leaves. So I'm just going to ink up just these little branches. Stamp off and we're going to go around the edge just damping in second generation. So we're just creating a bit of interest to our background. So I've just popped my work into my stamping platform and I've got my pumpkin in the middle of my card. And I'm going to stamp this up in Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to pick this up now and give this a good ink up. And then stamp it. And there we have our beautiful pumpkin. I'm going to go back to the tree branch and I'm using the same colour fallen leaves. And I'm just going to ink the whole of this branch up now. And then we're just going to stamp this onto our card. So I'm going to have that just there. So give that a good stamp. And then we're going to have another one onto this side. So I think we could have it just about there. We're going to start to build up our foliage now, just around the top here. So I'm going to be using the Oak Leaf Flourish with Rainforest. So we're going to ink this up and then start to build up our background so we can just have a few of these done and you can also do some in second generation so we're just building our beautiful background up
I'm just going to stamp two birds up here from the new bird collection which has four birds on it. So I've got one on my stamping block and I'm going to stamp those in Versafine Claire Nocturne. So we're going to give those an ink up. So now we're going to build up our ground. So I'm using one of the hill masks and I'm just going to pop that into place just about here. And I'm going to use First of Fine Claire Shady Lane. So with my stencil brush, I'm just now going to just gently do our ground. So now I'm going to create some more hills. So I'm just going to have this at a slight angle. And again, we're just going to quickly just use our blending brush. And now I'm going to add some bells. So I'm still going to use Versafine Claire Nocta. And I'm using one of the bells. And this is the largest single one. So I'm going to ink that up. And then we're just going to pop this into place. Just about here. There. So I'm going to use the orchard grass with Shady Lane. So we're just going to ink this up and then just stamp along the bottom here. Just building the scene up along the bottom. I think we'll have just one about here. Just going up the side. There we go. And then I'm going to use the single fairy thistle, but I'm just using this top section and I'm still staying with Shady Lane. So all we're going to do now is a bit of finger stamping. We're just going to stamp some of these just randomly over our background. Going back to Versafine Claire and I'm going to use one of the stamps from the Lamps collection. So I'm just going to ink this up first in first generation. So I think we'll just have that just about. Let's dump it off first. We'll have it about here. And then we're going to use the small one. And again, just dump it up in Nocturne. And we're going to do this in second generation. We go. Going back to Versafine Claire Shady Lane, and I'm using one of the small trees from the tree scene. So I'm just going to ink this up now, and we're going to do this in second generation. So I think we could have that tree just about there. And again, we'll have one on this side just to balance it out. There we go. Going to be using Versafine Claire Purple Delight. 
and I'm just going to use the lavender. So I'm just going to stamp up the top of it and then just stamp this in this corner and then we'll have another one over here and I think we could have one just about there. So I'm going to use one of these beautiful flowers from the flower collection and I'm going to go and use that with the Safine Claire Fallen Leaves. So I'm just going to ink this up and then I'm just going to use a piece of ripped copier paper just so that I only get some of this lovely stamp just adds a bit of interest to our background and I think we could just have that there and stamp this one here and then up there. Still using Rainforest. Now I'm using a different flower stamp from the flower collection. So we're just going to give this a good ink up and we're just going to stamp this now just down at the bottom here. I'm going to use my stamping platform and I've positioned the winter spice verse here. And I'm just going to ink this up in Versa Pine Claire Not 10. But what I'm going to do now is use a piece of copy of paper and we're going to do this in second generation. So I'm going to ink and then ink onto here. And we're going to bring this all the way down this side and then all the way down on the right side. So now we're going to use Brian Zeal watercolour pencils just to help to bring up the card. So I'm just going to add a bit of soft colour just to the top here, just on these hills at the distance. So I'm just colouring around here. And then we want, I'm going to use this brown here just under our carriage just so that we create a bit of shadow underneath it and I can just go back up this hill here just to add a bit more colour there we go and then I'm just going to use a light orange just to quickly colour in our pumpkin so we're just going to quickly add a bit of colour. There we go. Then do the stalking here. So we're just colouring all of this in and then we can just use our brush.
Then we're going to work on the trees. So again, I'm using a different green now. And I'm just going to run my brush over my pencil top here. And then we can just add a bit of colour to them. Just so that they stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to use a brown now and we're just going to create a bit more shadow under our pumpkin. So we're just going to quickly just do a bit of shading. There we go. And then working on our pumpkin. So again, I'm just using my brush and with a bit of water and just taking that colour off our brush just so that we can add a bit of shading to our pumpkin. And then I'm just going to use my brush with some water, take the excess off and then we can just gently blend that in to our beautiful pumpkin. Start building up a bit of shading on it. So we would just go Pasca pen, so I'm going to use a violet, and all I'm going to do now is just create some colour onto our lavender here, just following our stamping. And now we're just going to use a white Posca pen and we're just going to do some dots just around by our pumpkin here. There we go. Just to create some interest. And then I'm using the black Brown Seal watercolour pencil just to bring some of these bells out. So just a little bit too light. So if I just go over them using this black watercolour pencil, and then with some water we can help just to bring these out a bit more. There we go, that one, that one, here we go. And now we're just going to use Elements Graphite. So with a smoothie, I'm just now going to blend 
around the very edge of our card. So I've done all my mats and layers. It's now on to an 8 by 8 card blank and we just need to finish off with some little touches. So I'm going to use titanium white pan pastel and my white orb stencil. And all we're going to do now is just blend some of this white through the stencil to give us some little orbs. So there one, put another one over here. Just going to do these all random. So now we've done all of our orbs, I'm just going to use the mini castle. So I've got a bit of card there. Versapine Clear Nocturne. And let's have a look at this. So we're going to stamp it. So we want it in second generation. So make sure you stamp it up really well. Take your first one off. And then we're just going to pop that on top of the hill here. There we go. Just give that time. So we're going to go back to using that small tree that we did here. And I'm going to go back to using Shady Lane. I've got a piece of copy paper just to cover that hill. And we're just going to stamp off. And then we're just going to stamp part of the tree. There we go. Just All my mats and layers are done and it's glued onto an 8x8 card blank. And we're just going to put some finishing touches. So I'm going to use a gold bend touch here. And what I'm going to do now is just add some very small little dots coming down from the bells. And then I'm going to use the silver pen touch. And again, we're just going to add some to our pumpkin. Just for a bit of sparkle. And that's the card finish using some of these fabulous new stamps. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Halaganza. Please take care and happy crafting to you all. Bye for now. Bye!